Guys, quick update for Bitcoin. I'm going to give you key support and resistance levels to pay attention to. We're going to discuss that red ring I've been talking about for the past few videos. We're going to discuss if it's possible the bubble has just popped. Remember, you cannot just look at Bitcoin charts alone. You look at the whole picture. So we're going to cover a few other charts in addition to Bitcoin. Uh, guys, if you want to get access to all of these live charts, you can on my website. Links pinned in the first comment description. If you want to trade uh, Bitcoin with a leverage, uh, I use BitGit. I love the platform, trust your platform. Uh, if you're in the U.S., you will have to use a VPN and then you have to do KYC. I do have a no VPN, no KYC option for you pinned in the first comment description if you want to check that out. If you do sign up using my link, you do support me. Okay, so let's get on to this. So if you watched the last video, this video I kind of recapped uh, a few videos before and just kind of showed you about this red ring and why it was so important. I said you would long while you're before the red ring and when you cross it, you would short. I'll put this video now if you want to check it out. Uh, just in Discord, I keep everybody updated. Uh, if you do sign up, make sure you email me through the website to get access to our Discord. We're just talking about possible head and shoulders, given your downside targets. You see we did break down from this point. Notice right here, 30,189. see 30,000 right here, this line, this blue line was support. When this breaks, we're headed down to 28,900. We'll cover this also. But you can see we came down, right? We found support right here. Notice the meat of the candle on the two hour is above this point. So your current support right now is 30,174. Your resistance is 30,552. Uh, and again, uh, we'll come back to this, uh, giving you lower, your lower uh, support levels, two scalp longs. I was also talking about the H1 chart. Notice we came down and found perfect support right on this line. Your resistance was 30,561. And then you see what happened. We came down, perfect support, and we pushed up and got rejected 3,567. So you can scalp the hell out of this. I do think we have a lot more downside. And again, this is, well, we're going to cover the whole bubble thing. Now, the red ring that I've been talking about, uh, this, this was a published version of this chart. Now, this cannot be changed. Once I publish this, it is what it is. I published this on June 7th. And this was what I was talking about, this red ring. I said, when we come down to support and we make contact with this ring too long, when you cross the ring too short and you can see how this played out we rode right up this damn ring and yes we have crossed the ring the you can see they're just not showing the most recent daily candle that should pop up a little later but you can see we rode right up this perfectly and we crossed it and i do believe we have some downside now this is the chart you can see we have two daily closes up uh or two daily candles past this red ring i think we have a lot more downside that being said let me post about this in discord this blue ring is very important if we get a daily close above that blue ring then it's very possible we have some more upside so and and again if and i'll show you this i'm going to take these two rings uh this this blue flip circle and this red one i'm going to paste it over another chart and show you what to pay attention to. But again, if we get a daily close above this blue ring, that would be bullish because we've never, we have never crossed one of these blue rings without getting a pump. So as long as we're below this blue ring, I'm expecting a lot more downside, but at least we have some, we have something to pay attention to, to know that, well, hey, if we're below this blue ring, stay short. I will stay short as long as we're below it. But again, if we get a daily close above that blue ring, then it's possible we have more upside. But until that happens, I remain short. So I'm gonna cover a few other things. Now, as I mentioned, you know, so we got a wake above this. We could get a wake up. And the only reason I say this, if you look at the uh, book maps, there are a lot. There's a lot of liquidity above us, uh, around 31K up to 32K. I'm not saying we have to push up to that point. Maybe we come down from here. But it is possible we get one scam wick to push up to take out all of these shorts to get this liquidity before coming back down. And again, that's why I'm saying even if we do get a wake up, what's important is we get a daily close below this ring. We get a daily close above, that would be bullish. But again, it doesn't mean we have to push up to that point, but that's, that's the great thing about these charts. We have something to pay attention to, to know if, if it could possibly change to get bullish or bearish. We know that once we cross this red ring right here, we know that when we cross this ring, that means potentially we have a lot of potentially we have a lot of downside and that's what I'm expecting to lay out But we also know if we get above the blue ring. Well, hey, maybe it's gonna change. We have a little more upside <laughs> Repeat myself. So make sure you understand that when I copy these rings over another chart will make more sense uh, I just want to cover a few more things guys. So you know, I'm talking about a possible bubble It's not just for Bitcoin. It's for the stock market as well. You have to look at everything this FIP circle uh, has, has been dead on accurate. Notice it was support here. Uh, we got rejected at this point. We found support down here. Uh, it was resistance twice here. Found perfect support. Uh, we pushed up. This is where we topped out uh, back in, this was 
This is January 2022. This is when uh, the Dow Jones topped out. And I'm saying it's possible that we've topped out because we just made contact with this ring again and got rejected. So the top for the Dow could have been 34,500. And we could be seeing a lot of downside. Remember, the indices move together. So again, what I'm showing you is I have multiple charts showing that the bubble might have just popped. Uh, this is the yield curve, and this just shows, and this this does not lie. This this is predict every recession and crash going back. This goes back to 1961. You can see this was a uh, 1981. The yield curve was way inverted, and you can see we had a crash. Same thing happened in 1991. It happened in 2001. This is a financial crisis, 2008-2009. It, it was way inverted, and then we had a crash. Same thing happened before COVID. And you can see we're way the hell up here right now. So again, it just shows that when the yield curve is inverted, it means it's, it's an indicator that a possible recession is coming, or it's very likely a recession is coming. How soon? We'll have to find out. It could have, it, it, This could be the top for a possible drop, and I'm just showing you all the charts that, that confirm this for me. The DXY, we know if the DXY pushes up, and that is bearish for the markets, bearish for Bitcoin. We've got a triple bot we got a triple bottom here. That is bullish. You can see that this has been a support level going back way back. This goes back to let me move this out of the way. This goes back to this is 2020. Right, you see this this yellow line. This is a support level. It goes all the way back. That's been our support. It was support again over here in 2021. We pushed up, we came back down, we're above a key support level with a triple bottom, hinting to more possible upside for the DXY. Uh, this is the NASDAQ, and we know that uh, Bitcoin follows the NASDAQ more closely than other um, other indexes, but I just want to show you, look at this, this resistance level, right? This was resistance all the way back. This goes back to, well, at least where we had a contact here was 2014. Uh, resistance, resistance got rejected, resistance got rejected again. We got above it, back below it, we got rejected again. This 2022, we're right at this point now. So again, it looks like this is a very strong resistance level. This could be a top. So again, the NASDAQ, if, if the NASDAQ's heavy with tech stocks, so if the NASDAQ's coming down, you better believe the rest of the markets are coming down. And just another example of uh, FANG stocks. So we know just it's a select few stocks that are actually keeping the markets up. And Apple is one of them. Look at this rising wedge. If, if we break down from this, I mean, that's, that's a hell of a drop. So I'm just saying it looks like there's a lot of the markets are topped out. And it looks like we could have a lot of downside. And this goes along with this Bitcoin chart as well. You probably saw in the thumbnail. This is just doing a curve. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this before. But to me, it looks like... You know, this, this is our support level, right? We're just riding up this, this curve. Every time we hit it, we get a bounce. We did drop below it here. We pushed back above it. But if you'll notice, this has been resistance twice right here. This was in, let's see, July 2022. It was resistance again right here. And uh, this was March 2023. And here we are in June, coming up on July, and it's still resistance. So let me copy these rings in and show you why this is so important. Uh, so let's go back to this chart. So this is this blue ring. Uh, this is the one that I used to uh, predict the pump from 16K. And the reason for this, or why I was expecting that, is because we've never crossed one of these rings without getting a pump. Uh, the exception was right here, but every time we cross a ring, get a pump, cross it, get a pump. This is where I said to go long at 16K. We're right at this ring. So that's what I'm saying. As long as we stay before this ring, notice up here, this was resistance, right? We moved right down this ring. When we crossed it, we got a pump. So that's why this is really important. We're under a key resistance level, right? Multiple resistance levels. This, this curve is just another, another resistance level to pay attention to. But if we stay below this ring, we could continue to move down the inside of it, just like we did right here. However, if we do cross it, right, then we could get a pump, get above resistance that flipped out support, and we see some more upside. My bias is to the downside, just showing you how important of a price level in, in, in our location or currently in time, why this is so important. And we're looking at a possibly a major move. Uh, let me go back to this chart and copy this red ring and paste it over. And just to show you, every time we cross one of these red rings, we get a major drop. You can see it happened right here. We dropped 50%. Uh, once we pushed above this ring, once we crossed it, we dropped over 60%. 
So again, every time we cross one of these red rings, we get a major drop. Now, once we cross this red ring at a drop, we moved up the outside of it. So this is, that's why it's important to pay attention to. This is a critical point right here. If we stay at current price and move sideways, it looks like we're, it's going to be sideways and down. And again, just going by the DXY, going by the indices, it looks like everything is topped and we're due for a major drop. But this is a critical point. We have crossed that ring. So again, what I'm paying attention to is to make sure we do not get a daily close above this blue ring. If we don't, we continue sideways and down. I think it's pretty much confirmed that we're, going to look in, we're looking at a lot of downside. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me make sure I give you support and resistance levels to pay attention to. So if we do push up, look, your key resistance right now is 30,540. If we get above that as support, I'll go to the other chart and show you another uh, resistance level. Uh, 30,174 is a current support. If that breaks, uh, then like I showed you, that head and shoulders I posted in Discord, your next major support level down below is around 29,000 on the A1 chart. Uh, this is the H1 chart. Notice this is perfect support. Uh, so your support level below is around 30,000. Your current support uh, resistance right now is 30,567. Uh, if we do drop though, guys, it looks like there's a lot of confluence to catch a nice bounce around 29,000, 29,200. Uh, and if you do get access to the charts, guys, the H1 chart and A1 chart are the ones that update as price moves along. So make sure you always have these two charts open. And again, uh, this is peak of the next bull run chart. That's the name of this chart that has the red ring and the blue ring. But again, as long as we stay below this blue ring, I'm expecting a lot of downside. We've already crossed this red ring, which every time we cross it, we always get a dump. So again, I'm watching to see what happens over the next few days. And what happens with this red ring, but just remember guys, we do have some liquidity above. They can get some scan wicks, but as long as that comes back down and we get daily closes below this ring, we have a lot more downside. That's it guys, if you wanna sign up for uh, uh, Bigit and my no KYC, no VPN option, that link's pinned in first comment description. We get access to all these live charts. That link's also pinned in first comment description as well. That's it guys, trade safe, trade smart, I'm out.